And U.S. officials say that China is the only major economy still dealing with Iran's oil industry. The bottom line here, is China's economic expansion undercutting U.S. economic and political influence? Joining us now is former Defense Secretary Bill Cohen. He's chairman of the Cohen Group. Uh, good morning to you, uh, Mr. Secretary. It, it certainly seems that economic expansion would lessen uh, political and economic leverage on the U.S.'s front. Are we at a tipping point? Well, I think there's no question that China has uh, accumulated uh, greater and greater economic power and is starting to use that uh, economic power in ways uh, that will influence its foreign policy as well. We saw that most recently uh, in terms of dealing with uh, Japan, in which uh, there's a conflict about uh, the territorial waters. Japan had arrested a, um, a Chinese captain of a boat that had rammed a couple of uh, Coast Guard boats uh, belonging to the Japanese. Uh, there was a conflict there. China insisted the, uh, the uh, captain be released, and they force that release uh, by cutting down the supply of rare earth materials going to Japan. So that was an example of how they're able to use uh, their economic power and their supply of, uh, of things that are important to other countries uh, to achieve a, uh, a foreign policy objective, in that particular case, the release of that captain. I think we're going to see more of that in terms of China because of its economic power continuing to uh, show and flex its muscle, uh, uh, foreign policy defense policies and others. It's something we have to live with. We hope that mm -hmm. we can persuade China as it continues to grow to be fully integrated into an international regime which is peaceful and, and can be negotiated whenever we find ourselves at odds. Well, that control of resources includes those that are central to U.S. business. This debate over rare earths and the, the trade dispute over that and whether China's you know, influencing the market too greatly on that front. I mean, those are items key to uh, the technology sector in this country, creating batteries and uh, computer screens and the like here. So uh, to what degree does this, you know, then spill into a political tension here? I mean, is, is the WTO and is this sort of economic colonialism in a certain sense? Well, it's going to create uh, political consequences. So we may recall a few years ago that Russia cut off or reduced the supply of gas going into Ukraine. Uh, that produced quite a reaction throughout uh, Western Europe because reducing the supply to Ukraine also meant it re uh, reduced it right. going to other, other countries. And so there was a political reaction to that. There'll be a political reaction to the reduction in rare earths uh, going to other countries to fund uh, and fuel their own domestic uh, economies and, and uh, product, uh, production capabilities. So uh, there are consequences that will flow from that. Uh, they'll have to be uh, negotiated diplomatically in terms of whether or not uh, China is going to continue to do this. They maintain that the reduction has not been that serious. But nonetheless, the fact that they can do this uh, puts them in a position of uh, superior bargaining uh, power right now. Uh, well, there's a, a report out um, just yesterday from the U.S.-China Economic and Security Review Commission that raised a lot of eyebrows. Um, Bloomberg reported it that China Telecom, a company there, obviously with state influence, instructed U.S. computer servers to divert Internet traffic to Chinese servers and among the items trafficking through U.S. military uh, information. Uh, that's basically China showing that it can uh, direct Internet traffic here. Are we are we in, in by having the debate in Congress be about China's currency and having uh, the great part of foreign engagement of this country overseas be focused in Afghanistan and Iraq elsewhere? Are we missing the point? Well, they're all valid points to be taken into account. The, uh, the question about the currency, uh, cur currency is going to continue to be uh, something of interest to the, uh, the Congress, the administration. Uh, the issue about uh, China's relationship with Iran will continue to be a serious issue by virtue of the fact that the UN Security Council has imposed sanctions against Iran to try to persuade them not to go forward with a, a nuclear weapons program. Uh, to the extent that that is not complied with, then it's going to raise political uh, consequences. But the fact remains is we have to have a, a positive relationship uh, with China. We need to have that. China needs to have it as well. Yeah. And so um, this is something that uh, will be on the forefront of all of our uh, burners uh, for the uh, forthcoming weeks, months, and years ahead. All right, Secretary Cohn, thank you so much for giving us your perspective this morning.